What's up, y'all? I'm back. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm sorry. I le always leave you out on a long break now. However, I know I need to come back with a bang, all right? And you guys seem to enjoy these prediction videos I have been doing, according to the views. The Euro 2020 predictions and the round of 16 Champions League predictions have done really well. And now, the Europa League round of 16 matches have been released. The draw has happened, and I figured I might as well give it a go, see how I can do with my predictions. These matchups are actually looking very, very sick, so that's why I really wanted to do this video, and you guys seem to enjoy it. And I haven't uploaded in a while, so I want to come out with something that everyone would enjoy. Let's get into the first match. Who is it? Frankfurt versus Inter Milan. That is a sick matchup. Yo, I know there's a lot of Balkans on both teams, Inter Milan got a lot of Croatians. Frankfurt have Rebic, Jovic, yo, yo. This is a tough one, all right? Because Inter Milan, third in Serie A, and Frankfurt are in sixth in the Bundesliga. However, their form has been extraordinary, and Inter Milan has provided some shaky results. Although they are grabbing wins, it's not in the finest form for Inter Milan. I'm just being honest. I love the club, honestly, because they got a lot of Croatians. Honestly, man, I don't know why. I just feel like Luka Jovic and Rebic will somehow prove that they could beat Inter Milan's side, all right? They're just, they just got the motivation right now. Inter Milan play well as a team, but sometimes one player slips up and it just doesn't connect for them. Inter Milan really struggle with some of their away games, so unless they really pull it off at home, I see Frankfurt getting this win because they're a pretty solid side right now and they play beautiful football. If you watch how Frankfurt played against Shakhtar, you'll see they did a beautiful job. I just think it's gonna go to them. I'm being honest. The next match we're analyzing is Sevilla versus Slavia Praha. Although Slavia Praha are in first in the Czech League and Sevilla are in fifth, I think Sevilla are just used to having more competition and they're gonna go out with a bang and beat this Czech side. Sorry guys. All right, the next one is Zenit versus Villarreal. Villarreal look great on paper, and so do Zenit. So, it, this is a match that really could go either way. But in terms of current form right now, Zenit are sitting at first in their league, and Villarreal are at 18th, all right? It would be different if Villarreal were more mid-table, but it doesn't seem like their form is very consistent right now. Maybe they could get lucky in Europa League, however, I see Zenit pulling through since they're in much better form. Rennes versus Arsenal. Arsenal is definitely a great side in the Premier League, all right? They've done very well in multiple occasions. They did lose to Bate in their previous occurrence in Europa League, but they were deemed themselves 3-0. Arsenal could obviously easily get upset this round, but I think it's pretty safe to say I think they can go through. That's my prediction. Lacazette did get a red card. He's not playing for either of those matches, but they still have a decent attack for us. Aubameyang, bro, come on. Ooh, the next match is one of my favorites. Dinamo Zagreb versus Benfica. Yo, praying for Dinamo for life, bro. It would be so sick for them to win this tournament, especially after Croatia's amazing World Cup performance. It would be so sick to see them win. And they've actually been so sick in Europa League as well. I said sick like 20 times, Jesus Christ. All right, you know, let's just look at their previous scores. They beat Plizen 3-0 uh, in the second leg after losing 2-1. That's impressive, especially since they just came out of the Champions League. They did beat Fernabache in a pretty interesting rate, but Benfica have been playing teams like Galatasaray. Obviously, you all know. I'm always rooting for Dino Azagre. Always. If I'm gonna put money on someone, I just don't have faith in them. I don't. I'm sorry, yo. It's a prediction video, it's not what I want. So, I'm going with Benfica. Benfica's winning this one. Dino, I'm expecting it all. I really am, but I just, I, really pains me to say that. Obviously I'm rooting for Dinamo, but I think Benfica's gonna win it. All right, let's, let's just move on. I'm getting mad. Next up is Valencia versus FC Krasnodar. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. This is definitely going to be a tough one because FC Krasnodar 
has been in. They're sitting at second in the Russian league, one point behind Zenit currently, okay? While I'm recording this, things are gonna change, obviously. Valencia, you're in ninth, buddy. They are in ninth in La Liga. Damn, this one's actually insanely tricky. I have no idea what to expect for that one. Uh, both six sides, just because you don't know this Russian team doesn't mean they can't pull through. Their games have been low scoring though, so I'm gonna go with Valencia. All right, this next one's tough as well. Napoli versus Red Bull. Napoli did just lose one of their key players, Hamshik, but they still have been doing some stuff without him, and they still have a sick squad. They have more experience. They're sitting at second in Serie A, so I'm gonna give this one to Napoli. And last, but definitely not least, Chelsea versus Dinamo Kiev. Chelsea have been shaky recently. They just had a huge blow in the FA Cup. Either way, although they have not been at their top form, I still don't see them losing to this Russian side. There's actually a lot of Russian teams left in this competition, which is pretty sick. I see this one going to Chelsea, but they're definitely putting a fight and it's gonna be close. That's what I think. So, those are my predictions. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, don't be too harsh on me in the comments though. Like, come on. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, like this video, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.